In this video, I will share what I wish I knew when I started my first business. I didn't start my first business like many people. It was actually a bit of an aside for me. I was working for an entrepreneur that wanted all of his people to be consultants, not employees. So he set me up in my first business. And there were a lot of things that I didn't know about starting a business. So let's discover them together after this. Hello. My name is Doug Barra, and in this video, I will share the things that I wish somebody had told me when I was starting my own company. Here are the five things I wish someone told me when I started my first business. Number one, it takes real dedication. Starting your first business is well worth the effort. It's not always easy, but that's part of what makes it so fulfilling. I often feel grateful for all my efforts because I know firsthand how much work it takes to turn an idea into a living business. Real dedication is required if you want to make it work. This stems from the fact that most entrepreneurs don't have a normal day at work and getting in the groove of things can take some time. So be patient with yourself and keep pushing. You will get there. Number two, it can take over your life if you don't do it properly. At some point, your business becomes a part of you. It's an important marker in your journey. And as such, it will take up a lot of your attention on any given day. Now, this doesn't mean that you should be working all the time. On the contrary, I think work-life balance is important and you do need to keep yourself motivated and excited about the work you're doing if you want to keep creating. How do I personally maintain a good balance? Well, I try not to bring work home with me, and sometimes it's unavoidable. But I keep a strict schedule of when I will work and when I take time for myself and my family. It's essential to be able to breathe and have time for yourself. Also, the more you can rely on your team to get more of the work done, the less you will have to bring that work home. This requires that you have the structures and systems in place to manage that. Number three, you will need to learn how to sell and market yourself and your product. What is the product you're selling? It's you. If you can't sell yourself and your ideas, then who will? That doesn't mean that you need to have a silver tongue, though it certainly helps. What it really means is that you have to practice talking about what you offer. This will help improve your confidence as well as broaden your perspective on how to approach people. I also highly recommend getting a mentor. There are so many amazing entrepreneurs and business people out there sharing their knowledge with the world. Take advantage of that. Of course, I would love to have you join my family of business owners that I mentor. I'll talk about that some more in a moment. Number four, you'll have more fun if you're working on something that excites you. This is incredibly important. You could have the best business strategy in the world, but if it's not something that you get giddy about, then why bother doing it? Instead, find something that excites you and make a living out of it. Also, people can tell when you're faking it. I've been guilty of this myself on more than one occasion. Don't let your passion for business lessen because your first business idea isn't as exciting to you as you'd like. And number five, take action now. It doesn't matter how many plans or ideas you have, there's no time like the present to start taking action toward making those plans happen. If they are really life-changing goals, start by taking small steps to make them happen. Then work your way up from there. Once you start building momentum, it's much easier to continue with a positive outlook and keep going until you've hit a home run. However, waiting can be fatal in business. Once you have the information, you need to take action. And if you don't have the information you need, Take action to get it. In either case, take action now. I'm committed to 
inspiring business owners to take their business to the next level of success. And to do that, your business must have a stable foundation to grow on. Just like you can't build a skyscraper on the sand, you can't build your business without a solid foundation. This is why I created the Insider's Guide to Success in Business. In this book, I have outlined what you need to do to have a solid foundation for your business's growth. Inside this book, you will discover the specific steps that you can do to build that foundation, as well as how to know exactly where you are along that journey. I'm offering this book to you absolutely free of charge. Click on the link below this video or go to www.insidersguidetosuccessinbusiness.com to download your free copy and start your growth today. Once you've downloaded your copy, you'll have the opportunity to sample what it's like to have me as your mentor. I recommend that you take me up on that offer. Your business will never be the same. I'd love to know what value you got from today's video or what questions you have. Leave me a comment. I look forward to reading what you have to say. Please take a moment and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell to get all notifications so that you don't miss a single one of our videos. Once again, I'm Doug Barra. And now it's your turn. Click the link download your free book, start building your foundation, and I'll see you in our next video.